there is a loft ladder. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to install that that um, loft ladder and kit into that hole there. Let's go. Yes, hello and welcome to another video. And that loft ladder into that hatch isn't something I can do whilst I'm filming. So I'm going to show you what it says in the instructions how to do it. What I've done up there already and how I'm going to do it because it's, it's, it says it's 35 kilograms in weight that and that is the biggest loft that I could find. This floor to ceiling is, is 10 foot which is 3.05 meters and so I've got a 3.2 meter ladder and the ladder is part of the door hatch so let's get to it let's install this key light loft ladder into that hole um, but if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe so what do you get when you open this thing you get some uh, feet you get the uh, the pole to obviously unlock it when you have to you get the ladder which does come undone by uh, those bolts those bolts etc all the way around you get the instructions how they suggest to do it and you get 12 screws <coughs> so you can take the ladder and this ladder off and so you can wedge it in but this is a one-man job um, DIY effectively let's try and see if it works and if it doesn't oh well but let's see if I like I've done my um, my old house's conservatory uh, roof I did that on my own it should be piss easy so let's get to it eh so you basically I cut that out so I put a piece of wood there straight across there so it's into there into there into there not the, not that thing out that little um, triangular thing out and then uh, push it further back and this thing here I've got to move this further right back to the wall as well put a piece of wood it goes a pat across so um, I've got somewhere to put those two pieces of wood down there so I'm gonna push them back cut it out and then I'll show you what I've done so let's get to it extended this there um, look at me I put these these originally were here about here I pushed them back so they're nice and secure um, I cut these back here um, I put I cut these here these um, pieces of wood uh, basically uh, I drilled them into there into the rafters in that joist there these pieces of wood to hook onto it and rest on it there <coughs> and the same with that one I move that back to there um, push that joist into there there and there and this thing obviously is not it's the same thing as over there it came with it so basically you push the loft hatch up it catches onto there and they decided rather than cutting like there and there i would cut right up against this piece of wood here so this is the joist and i would cut a level around there so it's 69 centimeters the width and 115 back i've put this in so i can screw into there and it creates the actual box it's all ready and waiting for that to go in now on the instructions like I said it says to take the ladder off like that so I've taken the ladder off that was fairly easy with the, those four screws and um, the actual loft opener that, that um, does it that just just basically unscrews it's fairly light it works as a one-man Thing. If it doesn't work, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I have to go back to the drawing board. Well, it should. Look, these are movable, like you can see. The ones under there aren't. So, effectively, what you do is you hook it onto the whichever, whichever way you want it to open. And I want it to open like I want it the door to open coming down there so ladders can come down here. So, the back end there is where the hinge of the door is. And so you, there's no that doesn't adjust that doesn't move like that. So <coughs> I've had to, I'm getting on top of these ladders with that. I'm going to hook it onto there and then push it up. And that's the loft hatching. It is half past three. Oh, that's my brand, by the way. 
LGI, let's get it. Go check it out on Instagram, LGI underscore clothing. <coughs> it's basically outdoor sports clothing. Back in about two hours, I want to get that, at least that in. So there's the, um, the hatch currently the open. Hopefully, if my measurements are correct, it should go in and it should be sick. And then you basically, once you put it in, you use these other screws here to drill in there. Drill it, it should be secure. You drill it in, drill it into there, drill it into the side. <coughs> should be secure, then you'll open the door, put the ladders on it, and it should fall to the bottom. And then I had to rectify a few things, part of it, but, well, it's in. Look at that. It's a bit stiff, but it is, a, it is on there, but, it's in. It shows you that you can do anything you need really need to. That looks secure as anything that. Once it's in, all the joists, the six screws, drill it in, it should be on point really, I think. It should be mint. But uh, yeah, that's the loft hatch in. And then I've just got to put that ladder in. And then uh, we started. So um, I'll, do, I'll put the ladder in and then uh, Show you what is show you how it is. So as you can see, I've just dropped it down. Basically, you pull this, pull this up. That goes like that. Locks in. And. There is a loft ladder. That works, loft ladder. I had to make sure you're cutting out a structural root of Joyce, so I had to find out how to do that. Anne was a really good man, enjoying her. We got a six, seven minute video on that. that but, um, he was straight to the point, but he's a professional. I'm showing you that the, how I did it <coughs> as a DIYer. So, but I need to get a light up there and the roof fixed and new insulation and then some stuff to make it lighter up there because I want it to lighten it up <coughs> dead right so we can store stuff I need to also um, put some flooring down up there as well but what I used um, to do this to do this uh, this job was I used a multi cutter um, I also used a miter saw you don't have to use a miter saw you can use a hand saw I did use a hand saw as well for quick cuts so I used a miter saw which is like an evolution Matter saw with a multi blade, so it just cuts through everything. That was had a um, for pilot holes. I use my normal, normal drill. You really need an impact driver. They cost about 50, 60 quid. So it's about 200 quid's worth of um, tools. But I've bought these tools in general for other stuff around the house that I've used anyway. But that's the tools I used. You can probably buy if you have a friend. You can probably borrow all these tools. Um, I also had different, various different lengths of screws <coughs> and thicknesses of screws because some, cause some of the screws that came with it just weren't big enough or long enough or thick enough for my liking. <coughs> so I changed some screws, I put extra screws in, um, some screws weren't as good so I changed them. So anyway, there you go, a loft ladder DIY style. Uh, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell and press that thumbs up thing. It helps the algorithm and I just want to show you that you don't have to have trades always. It took me about four hours this to do <coughs> on my own. Most of the joiners will probably do it in an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours, but I'm not a qualified joiner. I had to figure out how to do it with the um, instructions. Uh, this was... Um, um, helpful for you because that's why i make these videos to make it helpful as, as you can as i can be to show you that you can do it and what was the next stage of the renovation project basically so this is part of the renovation project of the house but this house where there is um we have got a playlist called um house renovations so you, and i'm going to go through the house soon with what we've actually done up to now from it from the all the updates so if you want if you go to my my channel and check out the renovation project of this, of this house um, then that would be great thank you very much and subscribe thanks again I'll see you soon bye bye